Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Kevin. Today I'm gonna to print the Admiral from Kyoshin Eco Miniature. It's from the pack on his Patreon, the Sky Dwarfs. They're pretty cool, pretty fantasy, so I'm gonna have fun on it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm in Lichi. I'm upping the scale a little bit. I'm going from around 28 mil from the, the base size to 32. I just eyeball a little bit with the, the Z height. The support, they are fine. I'm just gonna go around and put a bunch on it. Uh, here the head is not too bad. Uh, but on the model, the body, it's a bit tougher. There is a lot of tiny detail. Especially in some parts around the armpit and the armor, it's gonna be a bit complicated. So here when you start from the bottom, it's okay. You put a bunch of it under the feet and everything, but then like the the whole part of the arm and around the, the under shoulder was a bit annoying. But then after a while I had all my support, I braced some of it and I'm good. Okay, so all my prints are done. The cleanup was pretty easy. I was a bit afraid because there was a lot of detail and I went ham on Litchi but I had a bit of cleanup under and behind, but it was pretty fine. I kept the head separate. The keyhole is pretty easy, so it's gonna be pretty simple to put it back together without any issue later on. And for the base, I choose a pillar that I find on my mini factory, I think, and I've just cut one part of it, the top part, and I'm gonna have the, the model sitting on top instead of going for like a normal base. It's gonna be a bit different, so, I'm gonna try to do my best, let's go. Okay, so I took some time before I started painting just to make sure of what I was gonna do. And even if I'm always a bit afraid and of non-metallic metal, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Most of the, the guy is like full of armor, so I, I went in Photoshop, I look at some part and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have some like steel part and then some frame are gonna be gold. So I choose beforehand which one are going to be gold and uh, the other one steel. And when I knew uh, where I was going, I started painting and I'm like, okay, let's do non-metallic metal. Let's try to improve and do something kind of decent. So I'm just using like uh, black, gray and white for the steel. I'm just applying my color. So I had a base coat of a dark gray. And here I'm just trying to highlight slowly. I'm mixing my paint brighter and brighter. So I'm trying to place my light the best that I can. I know it's not perfect, but it just it's just good enough to try and see what's gonna happen later on. I'm just trying to go with the, the best idea that I have. For example, here the, the plastron, I'm not sure what kind of light I could have done differently. So it's basically a, a big reflection on one part and I'm just rolling with it. Here I'm going brighter and brighter and highlighting over again. And the goal after is to just, if you're not really satisfied, you just go back and forth. Uh, maybe you go back with some dark gray and you darken some part. You go back with a brighter white or gray and try to highlight again. When I was done, everything was black and white, like I said, but I took a really dark blue and I just went into some like deep recess, like the corner, as you can see, some of the corner of the armor. I went with the dark blue and I just did a little bit of a touch on it just to add a tiny bit of color. It's enough to make it a bit more interesting. And after that, I'm like, okay, let's try to clean up the model, start the, the gold. Like when you can't, uh, when you kind of frame your non metallic metal, everything looks a bit better, I think. So I didn't try to just go crazy and refine everything i'm like okay let's jump to the next color so i have all my base coats it's kind of dark brown here for the gold i base coated the inside of the model in red and the leather as well 
in here I'm using a sepia wash and I've just uh, refined some recess before highlighting my gold. So I have this dark brown and this kind of yellow, yellowish ochre color here. And that's the one I'm using to highlight. I'm mixing with white after to go brighter and brighter. And on top here I was on pure white and after my pure white was done, I take back the, the, the color in between, the kind of like orkish and I diluted a lot and I've just kind of glazed over the white. The, the pure white was really weird on the gold but then if you use the, the yellow again over and just try to dull back the white and make it a bit more yellowish, the, the result is better. Here I'm just head highlighting the gold. For the leather here, I've applied a coat of wash first and then I'm just doing some head highlighting with a brighter color. I'm gonna apply some small scratches and stuff like that. Um, but it's not the main focus of the model, so nothing special on it. Here I'm doing the skin, it's just a tiny bit, the fingers and uh, part of the head. I went with uh, like kind of a bright highlight because the Everything is covered by the beard, so just to make sure the skin was popping a bit, I went really like bright on the color, just to make sure everything was popping. Then I've choose uh, orange for the, the beard and the hair. Everything was, I went with a bit of a darker orange, but everything was still a bit too bright for me, so I applied the wash as you saw, and I'm just gonna highlight over after. Here I'm doing the goggle glasses. They're really tiny, but I did my best. And then I'm just gonna use orange and brighter orange here. I'm just gonna do all the beard, all the hair. I'm gonna highlight over and over. So here on the base, it's kind of a greenish gray for the base coat, a wash over and a little bit of a highlight after. I don't want the base to like take too much attention. It's a bit big, I just want the model to be the center of focus. So everything is gonna be really simple and really dull on the base. Okay, so I'm done painting the Admiral. This one was pretty cool. I like the size. I like the render on the pillar and the non-metallic armor. It's nothing crazy like always. I'd rather paint more and try to approach every step as like practicing. I don't want to like feel stuck or afraid to paint. So even if it's not perfect, I'd rather just paint more like in I think in the end it's okay. While I was painting, I was a bit struggling. I think non-metallic metal is really hard at least for me, so the only thing I can do is practice and paint it more, so in the end it's not bad, it's not super cool, it's not crazy. Uh, when you go online you see some like really good painter, but if you focus on yourself and you just try to improve and paint more, I think you have a decent result. This one is pretty cool for the amount of time that I spent on it, so that's pretty nice. Tell me what you think in the comment and see you next time, bye.